Hey, I'm Toby and welcome to Finder Facts, the show where we take your burning questions and answer them on the internet. Today's facts, how to make my internet faster. The demand on Australia's broadband network has never been higher. Homeschooling, working from home, entertainment in the house, it's all pulling at the bandwidth. While there is not much you can do about the general speed in your neighborhood, you can take action within your home. I'm joined by Finder's entertainment editor, Chris Stead, to fix your internet. First up, Chris, uh, for people who don't understand bandwidth, what does that mean? Yeah, look, bandwidth, technical term, uh, but quite easy to understand, really. If you can imagine a pipe that's going in and out of your house and you're trying to jam as much internet information down that pipe as possible, the more you're trying to get in there at the one time, the harder it is for it to get through. That kind of slows it down. Um, if you can imagine as well that that pipe may be kinked in a few spots, that can also slow down internet speed. So we're going to talk you through uh, now how you can actually get more down that pipe to begin with and how you can remove some of those kinks. So given all that, what are some quick ways that we can improve the speed? Look, the number one thing to look at is your router, especially if you haven't updated your router for a number of years. Uh, so the router is where the uh, internet connection comes into your house and it usually joins to some sort of box, a modem or, or a router, and then that blasts the Wi-Fi around your house. Now, Wi-Fi standards improve, the standard being kind of like the model or most recent standard is 802.11 n but the old routers used to work on 802.11 a and b uh, and if you are using an old router then you are pumping out at a low speed the or this possible internet and your devices your modern devices your modern laptop your modern phone your modern tablet they're going to be working on 802.11 n in fact if you really want to be on the tip of the iceberg there is the latest 802.11 ac standard which is faster even again and the very latest devices will probably be using that standard Technology just never stops progressing. So if you are therefore using an old router, you are sending out a speed that is slower than what your device can actually use. And therefore your router is bottlenecking it. Uh, we do have a comparison of routers on the Finder website that you can go through if you need to upgrade, but that's a great place to start. Another, another good thing to look at is where your Wi-Fi router is placed inside your house. There are things that can obstruct the speeds. For example, uh, water. You wouldn't want to have it on you know, something like a water tank or a shower or something like that between where your router is and where your work computer is. Uh, metal is another big one. So if you know where the steel infrastructure in your house is or if you've got a microphone or a fridge or something like that between where your Wi-Fi router is and where you're working, then that's going to also affect the speed. Another thing you can also look at is Wi-Fi extenders for big houses. I've actually got three in my house. So I've got a, my, my router, which blasts out in my main living room, and I've got one upstairs, a Wi-Fi extender, which grabs that internet from downstairs and then gives it an extra pulse to make that speed fast in the far corners of my house. I've got another one in my office, which is external to my main house, so that the three of them work together on the same internet connection, but I get really fast speeds across the entire house. I just, I'm just looking at my motor at the moment and it's surrounded by uh, pots and pans. Is that probably not a good place to put it? No. Yeah, no? <laughs> Uh, another good thing to remember when you're deciding where your Wi-Fi router is going to sit is to try and keep it up high. A lot of people put them down behind TVs, down low, and there's just going to be a lot of more interference there between a signal coming out of the router and a signal on your device that you are using. So if you can find a way to get it up high on top of a bookshelf or mount it up on a wall up in the corner there, you know, above head height, and that's just going to slightly improve that Wi-Fi speed as well. So I've tried all these things. I'm still getting a bit of slowdown. What should I do next? Yeah, look, it's good to understand, I guess, uh, what is going to take the most amount of bandwidth up in your house. So how, what, what, what activities are going to be trying to shove as much information as possible down that pipe we spoke about before. Um, the big one is video, you know, any sort of video, whether you're watching Netflix or watching YouTube or something like that, or if you're doing a Zoom with a meeting, anything like that, then that is going to uh, ask a lot of your bandwidth. So that's something to consider. Uh, you've also got gaming, which is another big one. Uh, so if you've got um, someone in the other room playing multiplayer games online, that's going to take up a lot of data. Uh, uploads are another big one. Uh, if you're not on the NBN yet, yet in particular, you're probably using really old, slow upload speeds. And that's trying to push a giant package, a huge file, back up the internet through that pipe. And that is also going to impact your bandwidth capacity inside your house. So those are 
things you can think about when you need to have that internet speed working really well. For example, a very important client meeting you might be having on Zoom, make sure the kids next door in the next door room aren't watching Netflix or something like that. You could potentially either get them a DVD, old school, or download uh, something, say for Disney Plus, for example, allows you to download something to your hard drive and just play it offline. Uh, if they're playing games, if they're playing video games, just ask them to play a single player game offline while you're having that chat. And that'll just slow down the demand on the bandwidth in your house and give you a much better connection while you are using it. Can you do anything about your broadband speed? Well, yeah, you can. And obviously what we've spoken about so far is what you can control in your own house. It's hard to control what's happening out on the street in the neighborhood. Even if you're doing the best things that you can do inside your house, doesn't mean that every other person in the street isn't using Netflix and slowing down the overall network speed. So what you can do is have a look at comparing your broadband plans. Um, we've got some really in-depth comparison options for you on the Finder website. And by comparing these plans, you may not necessarily have to switch to a new ISP. You may not have to actually get someone else come out and install a whole new system for you. You could just be able to upgrade with your own ISP. And that just may be simply a case of changing settings at their end to increase your speed. So it's worth having a looking around and comparing. You might be able to just move up a tier or ask for a speed boost package that could just give you a bit wider pipe so you can fit more content down there uh, when you're using the internet at home. If I've done all of these things and it's still not still not fast enough for me, what should I do? Look, your backup plan should be mobile broadband, uh, so your 4G network. Again, we've got some great comparisons on Finder if you're not sure if your data package or your 4G plan is quite up to the scratch. But definitely what I use when I uh, struggle to get some connection speed at home is I just switch off my Wi-Fi altogether. I hotspot to my mobile and use my 4G plan, which is on a whole different uh, technology and that usually fixes my speed problems. So if I've got a really important meeting that I really want to make sure that my connection speed is perfect and I can zoom in without any sort of distortion, sometimes it's just a smart option to get off broadband altogether, go on to 4G and use that connection to get the speed that you need. Where can people find more information? Look, we've got a stack of guides, a stack of guides on the final website. We're working on them every single day, trying to bring more options on how you can upgrade the technology in your house and improve your Wi-Fi speed, improve the internet and just improve your technology in general. So keep an eye on the website. Uh, we've got a working from home hub page, which is a good place to start. Um, and I'm sure we can throw some uh, links to some of the comparisons that are very key to this chat uh, down below. That's the facts for today. Make sure to comment. Tell me, what do you do to make your internet faster? I'd really love some tips because I don't know if you noticed that entire video, my connection with Chris was actually pretty terrible. I'm gonna go try out his tips right